and we are off to Disney World. There was a big queue. You have to get a couple, remember, we've got a big flight. So we don't know if it's delayed. I don't even know how to start it, to be honest. It's just really difficult at the moment. I just feel like I've just let the kids down. Morning everyone, I hope you're all keeping well. Well today is a travel day and we are off to Disney World in Florida. I cannot believe we're actually saying that. We're we, going on the plane. Yes, we're going on the plane. <laughs> Last night we travelled to Manchester and we, we stayed overnight at the airport Pratina's Hotel. It was really, really cheap. Good value for money. It cost us, it cost us £146 for an in-connected room and it was really really good it is dated as you can see from the little clips i've done it was clean it was tidy but it does need some tlc on the walls the bathroom was pretty basic but it was great just to have a wash this morning and for the price i cannot complain it's only 10 minutes from the airport so like i've said we are traveling <laughs> From here to the airport, 10 minutes, uh, Manchester, we are flying with Aer Lingus and we have got 11 a.m. flight. So we are up bright and early. It is, what time is it now? Let's have a look at my phone. It's 6.21. We have got our breakfast at 7. Uh, the breakfast for all of us, for a family of five, was 36 pounds, which wasn't too bad. We also had an evening meal here as well. We just had some chicken nuggets and chips, didn't we? Yeah. Yeah, and, really and good value. Were a little bit yummy. <laughs> a little bit yummy, she's really, really picky on like food. It tasted like McDonald's, you were right, they did. And that was around about 35 pounds for a family, family of five, so wasn't too much uh, money at all. So if you are wanting a value kind of, um, overnight stay in Manchester. I would definitely recommend this. It is dated, but you do get what you pay for. Standard, clean and tidy, and that's all you can really ask for if you are wanting to just have a little bit of a, somewhere where you can lay your head. But it was really good, wasn't it? Yeah. yeah. Yes. So we're gonna obviously go down for breakfast now. I'm gonna show you exactly what it's like. And then we are off to Manchester Airport to get that 11 o'clock flight to Walt Disney World. So everyone, I'm super nervous. The nerves are kicking in now. I've, we've not been to Walt Disney World for- Ages. For ages, we've not been to Florida for ages. We've not even been out of the UK for ages and it's just going to be something magical and memorable isn't it yeah yeah we're not, we're not, we're not, we're not, we're not cute on holidays for a long we time we haven't not been on holiday for ages have we took, took the camera <laughs> with us <laughs> and we've not took the camera with you as a family so yeah. this is the first for everyone isn't it yeah, yeah. we really really hope you enjoy the videos yeah. and vlogging it for you and taking you along the parks with us it's gonna be super excited yeah. and remember if you do enjoy our travel dates to give us a big thumbs up and yeah. what else do we do we sub yeah. we subscribe to the channel and yes so let's go for breakfast and let's and get to that airport and before we actually go i'm just going to give you a little bit of an outfit of the day so i've gone really really basic i have just got this little jacket from i think it was from new look uh, i've got this little t-shirt here where i've knotted it at the side and i got this from asos i've got my leggings on and um, where i got from jd got my river island boots on and of course i have got my lounge fly 50th anniversary bag with the ears as well so yes that is the look of the day
so we've just checked in and we've been granted a um, priority because we've got a wheelchair they just literally took us out the queue straight into priority and really good service we've gone through security and because we have a wheelchair we was able to go through the priority access route so we checked in super early there was a big queue so I don't know how long that would have taken us um, but yes they let us go through the lady just came up to us and she says coming to priority and I was shocked I didn't realize we could do that with a wheelchair and then she says do you need assistance so she took us to the assistance area and they will board us before everybody because we have a wheelchair which is really really nice of Aer Lingus. I didn't realise that we could do that. My daughter can walk, it's only when she gets tired she has the wheelchair because she has a heart condition. Um, but yes, it's been smooth going and yeah I'm really really happy with the service so far. So we're going to WH Smith then and get some snacks for the plane? Yeah. yeah? Gonna what we're going to get? A chocolate and a drink. There is a lot in there. So let's go and have a look then. Is there anything you want? You have to get a couple, remember? We've got a big flight. We've just been to WH Smith to get all of our snacks. Um, we've got some drinks, we've got some crisps, chocolate, stuff like that to keep the kids busy in the really, really long flight. I thought I would um, spend this time to just tell you where we're staying. Obviously, we're going to Florida. We are going to Disney World and we are staying at Art of Amination for 10 days, nine nights, soaking up all of the Disney magic. And I'm going to be vlogging it for you, taking you along the parks and just having a most magical time with the ladies. Sophia. <laughs> And yes, we're super, super excited. I'm so glad we've got through security, we've checked in, and now we're just waiting for our gate. We're not quite sure what gate we're at, we are at at the moment. We are just taking it easy. We're going to have a look around the shops, because the shops are just over here. We're going to have a quick look around there and wait for our gate to open. snacks now and we're just chilling on these really cool little like benches here where they like curve around <laughs> and yeah we're just relaxing until our gate opens it keeps fluctuating that more information will be at 10 50 <laughs> and then um and then it keeps on turning to 12 o'clock so we don't know if it's delayed um it just keeps on saying relax more information will be at 10.50 and then we've got 12 so we will see how it goes um, yeah that's all we can really do at the moment we've got all of our snacks and we're just oh, chilling and that keeps falling on me oh yeah so once we've got more information I'll let you know
guys, as um, I don't even know how to start it to be honest. As you can probably tell, I've been crying. Um, our flights got cancelled basically. Um, we was literally just about to board and there was something wrong with the aircraft and they just cancelled the whole flight. Um, we've been sat in the airport now for a couple of hours. Um, Aer Lingus has said that they're going to put us up in accommodation. Um, they can't get a, a, a new flight for us till Sunday. Um, so I've been on con I've been in contact with Disney to see if they can get us a flight any quicker or tomorrow or I, I really really don't know but I just feel so guilty for the kids because it's just hard um, so yes I know we're gonna be still going um, it's just really difficult at the moment so the next time you see something hopefully we'll be getting on a flight uh, I don't know if it's going to be today um, I'm just I'm so tired uh, we've been here for a few hours now trying to find somewhere in the first incident when it first got cancelled Aer Lingness had just said to us that go home um, and I was like we, we can't go home um, we live quite far away we can't just go home and come back Sunday um, so yes I I don't know how to inform you of anything else. It's just been an absolute whirlwind, the whole thing. Um, obviously we waited so many years for this trip and then COVID's happened and I just feel like I've just let the kids down. Um, but yeah, when we was waiting for the aircraft, um, obviously they put on the board that it was final, um, like, like the final call out for people to go to board the plane. And we were just waiting for the gates uh, like to open so we could go onto the plane and then somebody was taking a wheel off the aircraft. We just thought it was maybe a flat tyre or something but then there was opening the engines and I, and straight away I knew it was going to get cancelled. Um, so yes, we just literally, if I turn you around, we are just sat at check-in area. Um, just a bit oblivious what to do from here um obviously Aer Lingus just says that they can't get a flight till Sunday for us um but we have contact Disney to see if they can do anything else um but we're all very tired aren't we we're very tired um I'm not. you're not tired <laughs> um so yeah you've probably been through it before I'm not sure but I'm just absolutely gutted at the moment that we're not going to get a full uh, 10 days anymore in the park um so yes the next update you'll get hopefully um we'll board in a flight so everyone we are still at the airport um as you can probably see i'm absolutely whacked at this time it's nearly, I think it's like near five o'clock at night. Our flight was meant to be obviously 11 o'clock this morning. Um, but we've had some feedback, some news. Um, Aer Lingus, as Aer Lingus, should I say, has obviously canceled. Um, everyone was really unhappy about the whole situation. And then um, one of the Aer Lingus um, staff came up to us we were waiting for more information we knew nothing and everyone was shouting um just being really unkind to the staff and i would just try to gather our bearings and just kind of like take everything in what's happening um and one of the airport staff Aer Lingus staff came up to us and just said um are you okay um have you got any arrangements um where are you going from here um, and it just says that um, Aer Lingus on the phone could only give us accommodation um, uh, sorry I'm absolutely whacked at this point but um, they could only give us a flight for Sunday which is two days away um, and that was it um, so I rang direct with Disney uh, I booked direct with Disney so I rang Disney up as well to see if they could help me um, back and forward phone calls and the Aer Lingus 
staff really really nice um he first instance says that he couldn't help us and then he basically came back to us i don't know why maybe because we was the only one what wasn't shouting in his face um but he just says have you looked at um accommodation for two days um, and all I said was, look, I haven't really got the funds to pay for another two nights in a hotel with all the food, breakfast, dinner, and everything for five people. It's just not something I've um, took into consideration when it comes to paying out for. We're not the kind of family where we have credit cards or anything, so we haven't got money to hand like that. So I just says, look, I haven't got the money for um, accommodation. So he says, just wait over there. He's like, in the airport, just wait on a seat and we will come back to you. Um, so we waited a good hour. Um, by this time, I was still trying to get a flight for today um, with um, Disney. Um, they were so good with us. They tried their artists to get a flight for us today, um, latest tomorrow, not Sunday. Um, and basically the Aer Lingus man came back to us and he just says to us that he is going to put us up in accommodation. We are going to... What hotel is it again? What hotel is it again? Uh, the Marriott Hotel. It's airport hotel. They are paying for two nights for that accommodation. They're paying for breakfast afternoon and evening meals for two days and they're paying for our taxi to get there and back um, and that is amazing they've only done it for our family everyone else has gone home or made other arrangements or something we kind of was hanging around and didn't know quite know what to do we've never been in this situation before um, and he decided to help us which I don't know why I don't know why he helped our family and no one else says um, maybe it was just because the attitude of the other people I don't know but he just says to us look I'm not meant to do it but um, I'm gonna do it so um yes yeah, so he's done that for us and because we are only going for seven nights now uh, to Walt Disney World um, Disney can't um, can't obviously get us on an earlier flight than um, than I'm going honestly my head is all over than Sunday that is the earliest flight they can put us on it's a virgin flight uh, leaving from Manchester Airport at 11 a.m. Um, so we're on that one um, but because we are not gonna get into Disney till Sunday that is two days two nights um, we won't be there so they they've been absolutely amazing they've amended my booking and they have refunded me near enough 900 pound today so we've got extra funds as well just in case anything else happens or hiccups or anything um but yes that is the predicament um it's been a really really emotional day as you can imagine um you've probably been through it before if you haven't it's it's really, it's really stressful when you've got all these plans and then they all come crashing down on you um yes yeah, so we're just trying to chill a little bit and yes so um yes yeah, so we're gonna go to this other hotel now for the night uh, for the two nights should I say we don't know what we're gonna do tomorrow we're probably just gonna chill and try and reflect on today to be honest um, but this video is gonna continue um, till we actually get to Florida so it's gonna be a long one but I just wanted to kind of document this as well because if anyone else is going through this or been through this or in the future will go through this um, maybe put you in the right direction if you have booked with Walt Disney World Travel Company because they have been absolutely amazing and I wish when the flight first got cancelled that I just got on the phone to Disney and says look my flight has been cancelled blah 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 help me and they are incredible they straight on the phone to the airline get me another flight blah 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 they have been incredible the airline's been really good and um, they, they have said I can um, put a claim in so we can obviously get money back because I've heard if you are delayed over four hours you can get compensation obviously we're two days delayed so uh, we can put compensation in in that way as well so hopefully um, this little hiccup will 
turn out to be all good and then on Sunday we can put this behind us and get to Walt Disney World and start our trip and yeah so the next time you will see this video I might show you a little bit of the hotel they've provided us with maybe I'll show you a few meals what they've provided us with but in first instant it's going to be Sunday and yes, let's get on that fly so I thought I'll just pop on and show you around this hotel they've provided us with which is really really nice we are staying in at the Marriott. Marriott Hotel and we've got it's amazing I can't believe that we've been provided this to be honest but let me flip the camera around and show you so we have two double beds for the children so Kim will have one the twins will have another and then we've got a nice big TV seating area there she is <laughs> and then there's a big large mirror um more seating area some nice heart then we've got a bit of a bit of a view out here as well so yes and then we've got in connecting room so this is going to be mine and steph's room so look at that that is would you say it's a queen definitely a queen it's a nice queen bed for me and Steph and it's kind of like a mirror image with the seating area TV than uh, the room next door and then you've got some uh, bits to put all your hang stuff it's got a safe as well you can put your case on that and then it's got a really nice big bathroom so you've got a nice big sink here, nice big mirror, and then you've got a nice shower as well. So it's nice and big. It is like a thousand times better than what we stayed in last night when I was showing you. But they're paying for it, so we're going to be taking it, aren't we, um, for the disruption we've had. But I just thought I'd pop on and show you where we are. So we're staying in here for two nights they have a pool so we're going to be enjoying that um i might take you along show you a bit some bobs throughout this crazy um travel day travel weekend now it's going to be um so yeah i'm just going to take you along um the food apparently we're only allowed like a set menu because obviously this is all paid for us by the airline we only allow certain things on the menu, but I'm sure it'll be okay. It's only for tonight and tomorrow night anyway. So yes, so they're nice and big and they look super comfy. Are they comfy girls? Yeah. Super comfy. They're a bit, they're cold. <laughs> they're cold. <laughs> so what do you think, how do you think today went? Uh, we're not going on the plane today. We didn't go on the plane. Why didn't we go on the plane? It got cancelled. It yeah. did get cancelled, didn't it? But when are we going? Uh, the day after tomorrow. Not the, tomorrow. The day after two days. So two. Sunday, aren't we yes, going? Sunday. Yeah. So all fingers crossed. Fingers. It will be good to go then, yeah. Yeah. Fingers, <laughs> fingers, fingers, crossed. fingers crossed. So tonight we're just gonna settle down. It's getting on for six o'clock at night now. We've been at the airport all day trying to sort out everything. Um, as you can see with my makeup attire, it's just been washed out with tears crying galore the anger but as everyone goes through it i suppose and it was just our time to go through it so all fingers crossed that it will happen on sunday for us and we'll be able to go to walt disney world and enjoy the disney magic but um yes this weekend i'll show you bits and bobs of what we're doing uh but it will be a long travel day video but um yes stay tuned because we will get to disney world at some point so everyone we are back it's sunday morning around about 8 a.m we are back at terminal 2 manchester airport to board a virgin atlantic flight at, leaves at 11 11 minutes past 10. my nerves are shot i've had enough um i'm out of breath because my nerves are just everywhere oh i hope this goes ahead Okay, 
so we have checked in yet again and we're just gonna go to the security um, I obviously can't film anything on the security or you do get in trouble um, so yes I'll see you on the other side show you the leg space you've got in economy it's really really good obviously they're children so I can't really give you much of an example but I'm really short as well but there's a lots and lots of room as you can see lots of room to stretch out as well and you've got the screens as well which we're gonna be watching films I'll show you what they've got once we're up in the air and then you've got I know they're all the same aren't they <laughs> and then you've got a table that folds out as well got your USB and yes it's looking all really nice and clean
get so caught up in the middle Thinking of drowning in those blue eyes I'm losing sight cause I am falling I'm so deep down, deep down And it's not a lie That I die I can't hide arrived in Walt Disney World art of animation I hope you liked the little room tour I did we are just gonna do a little bit unpacking we're gonna get some food because it's now late at night and then we may have a look around the resort a little bit show you a little bit more but I hope yet again you have enjoyed it and I hope if you have to subscribe and join along on this crazy series what I'm doing taking you along around the parks and hope nothing else madness goes on so yes all of that panicking and we are finally here so I'm going to leave this vlog here and then I will see you tomorrow which is our first full day in the parks we have got a character dining in the morning and then we are off to sci-fi restaurant i think it is in the afternoon for lunch i think it is i'm gonna be vlogging it all 
gonna be taking you along with us, so make sure you do join along on this crazy series, what we are doing. And yes, and I'll see you tomorrow, guys. Bye. Good morning, everyone. <laughs> <laughs>